receive ye him that is weak in the faith, but not to judge his doubtful disputations. For one believeth that he may eat all things, while another who is weak eateth herbs. Let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not, and let not him that eateth not, judge him that eateth, for God hath received him. Who art thou who judgest another man's servant? To his own master he standeth or falleth, yea, he shall be held up, for God is able to make him stand. One man este emeth one day above another, another este emeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. He that regardeth one day, regardeth it unto the Lord, and he that regardeth not that day, to the Lord doth he not regard it. He that eateth, eateth to the Lord, for he giveth God thanks, and he that eateth not, to the Lord he eateth not and giveth God thanks. For none of us liveth to himself, and no man dieth to himself. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord, and whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ both died, and arose, and revived, that he might be Lord both of the dead and living. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at not thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, As I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Let us not therefore judge one another any more, but judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. I know, and am persuaded by the Lord Jesus, that there is nothing unclean of itself, but to him that regardeth anything to be unclean, to him it is unclean. But if thy brother be grieved because of thy meat, thou walkest no longer charitably. Destroy not with thy meat him for whom Christ died. Let not your good be spoken of as evil. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. For he that in these things serveth Christ, is acceptable to God and approved by men. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace, and the things wherewith one may edify another. Destroy not the work of God for the sake of meat. All things indeed are pure, but it is evil for that man to eat what causeth offense. It is good neither to eat flesh, nor to drink wine, nor to do anything whereby thy brother stumbleth, or is offended, or is made weak. Hast thou faith? Have it to thyself before God. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he alloweth. And he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eat not from faith, for whatsoever is not from faith is sin.